Every family has one. The black sheep. It's the one member that doesn't quite fit in. That guy that never gets an invitation to the family reunion. Join me as I explore some of video gaming's most notorious outcasts. This is the Black Sheep. By 2008, Nintendo had somehow managed to convince the entire world that their Wii was the next generation gaming system to own. Despite its low res graphics, terrible online infrastructure, and dangerous controller, the Wii was a massive hit. By targeting your grandmother, Nintendo is able to look past the hardcore gamer and capture a segment of the market that had otherwise been untapped. A lot of the success can be linked back to Wii Sports, the addictive minigame collection that taught the entire world how to use imprecise motion controls. Wii Sports was quickly followed by Wii Fit, featuring one of Nintendo's most successful accessories. And then we have Wii Play, one of the best-selling games of all time. Despite the unimaginative name, the Wii series looked to be unstoppable. And that's when Nintendo introduced the world to Wii Music, the embarrassing next step in the Wii series. Here we have Shigeru Miyamoto doing his best to convince a silent E3 audience that they should give up Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Wii Music lets you play guitar, as well as drums, saxophone, violin, and even piano all without having to worry about hitting the right notes or having any actual skill. So how does it work? Well, let's let Miyamoto and his translator set up a best case scenario for Wii Music. But since we have everyone here this morning, I thought it might be nice if we played a song for you. Now the bands have six different parts, but you play with up to four players simultaneously. Don't these people look like they're having fun? Hey look, that guy's pretending to blow into the Wii remote. Hey, and so is that guy. Don't forget to smile, Ravi. Now this is a party. Not a Wii party, that's still a couple of years off. But just look at the excitement in this room. I'm sure the internet will agree. Many of you on the internet said I was pretty bad. Oh, well maybe that's because the internet noticed that there were five people playing a four-player game. See for yourself. We have Shiggy playing the cowbell, Denise on the marimba, we have two guys on horns, and our good friend Ravi over there on drums. How many players does this game support anyway? Now the bands have six different parts, but you play with up to four players simultaneously. Yeah, that's what I thought. With only three million units sold worldwide, I doubt we'll ever hear from Wii Music again. But hey, at least Ravi was able to get good at playing his fake invisible drum kit. In fact, Ravi only started practicing just yesterday, and as you can see, he's already gotten quite good. 